What's happening, my people? April Visual Reviews. This is Mr. Al Pete with the NPN Network. We finna unbox this pretty little thing, all right? So y'all stick around. We finna get to it. All right, my peoples, before we get any further, please make sure you subscribe to April Visual, all right? So you can get those reviews. We're going to be doing a lot of reviews coming up, all right? So right now, we're going to do this M-Audio Air 1924. It's one of the latest editions from M-Audio. I am not a stranger when it comes to the M-Audio brand. So let's open this thing up. And before, well, while I'm doing this, we're going to be doing what's in the box. We're going to be going through the specs, recommendations, usage, all that stuff, audio testing, et cetera. All right. So of course we have the M Audio box. Come on, man, come on, man. All right, so we got the slick action going on right here. Two inputs, really uh, for the microphone. You have you can use it for a microphone as well as for instruments. Um, off bat, I can say that this is very good for solo podcasters, solo podcasters, solo musicians. If you're doing anything audio from a solo person, this is very mobile. It's uh, not heavy at all. And you do have two ins and two outs. So this first one right here, that's your first line. That's your main line. Your main line, the microphone will hook up right here. It takes XLR as well as quarter inch. So that's good. And then you have your mains back here where you can hook up some speakers so you can barely hear the speaker. So you can hook up a, a smaller monitor so you can hear the sound. Um, one thing that I know about when I review this is the fact of latency. So when it comes to these M audio boxes, this right here is very great on having like very direct latency. And so that means when you're recording, you can hear it in real time versus hearing like a second or two back, making, you know, throwing you off your creative flows or whatnot. So that's a major plus, but you will hear that when you plug these two up, these two monitors up, or a monitor up into these part here and these are quarter inches, all right? Of course, you have your volumes. You have your volume specifically for the microphone. You, this is your second input as well, so you can put, you know, you can turn it up right here manually, as well as right here, this is your main audio right here. You can turn the main audio up, down, and that will turn up everything. So it will turn up your, your the, the monitors. It will turn that up as well. But if you want to specifically turn your microphone up, you can use this, uh, volume right here so that's the plus right there as well another thing i want to mention real quick before we get into the rest of the box you have your headphone jack as well so when you got your headphones you can plug your headphones up you don't necessarily have to plug a monitor up but you can plug your headphones up and you're able to turn that up as well on its own but remember this big thing right here controls everything all right so this is our cord USB-C action, you know, everything is going USB-C. So that could be somewhat of a flaw if you're still on the on the regular USB action, but uh, they do have cables, extenders for that that you can connect it to, but you simply connect it back here and you connect the other side of it to your laptop and, and you're good to go. It's, it's really a, a good plug and play action. You have to download some things, but it's not, it's anybody can do use it. A novice can use it as well as a, a professional. So this is the cord that comes with it. Oh, my apologies, y'all. Oh, my apologies. I spoke too soon. Oh, sorry, y'all. With this, if you have it converted over to USB-C, you have this cord as well. So you have two options. So that's, so this makes that a plus. So ignore the flaw that I mentioned on, all right? So all you have to do still is just plug it in the back. And there you go, you can plug it into your computer. So if you don't have USB-C, you can still plug it up to a regular one and you still have good action. You won't lose any, any specs or anything with that. So that's a good plus. All right, so the audio, M audio box that we have, it includes specific software and you can plug it up and play. All you have to do is just plug it in, it'll recognize the box, and that goes for Pro Tools, Ableton, Adobe Audition, etc. So it works with all the DAWs, the, uh, the DAWs that we want to use, but specifically, most people use it for Pro Tools, Adobe Audition, and Ableton. So if you don't have it, it's included in here. But in the midst of that, 
while you're doing that, you want to make sure that you download the drivers. So you will go to m audiocom forward slash drivers and make sure that the driver is downloaded to your computer so it can work seamlessly. All right, folks, we finna get into an audio example. We're gonna be using the microphone. This is the Audio Technica AT2020. We're gonna be plugging this up to the M Audio box and you're gonna check out some sounds. All right, so welcome back again. I know last year, end of the year, October time frame, we went over to New Orleans traveling for some work that we were doing. Uh, we were in New Orleans for the uh, Thursday night game, New Orleans the Jaguars. And uh, I like I like the hotels that we stay in when we do travel. And uh, this one right here is the Hyatt Regency, downtown New Orleans, right next to the Superdome. All right, folks, the M Audio. Me personally, I feel like this is a go. It definitely gives a good uh, quality of sound. One of the things that stick out to me is the latency, especially when you're using this for people that are gaming, streaming live. When you're streaming live, you deal with a lot of latency. And so this will troubleshoot that. This will kind of block that. So it'll be right on time sound versus it, you know having a delay. You hear something, you hear one sound on your speakers and another sound with the people. So it can kind of throw you off from your workflow while you're doing it. So um, I like the solo aspect of it as well. I do like the mobile aspect of it too. Like it's something that you can just throw in the bag. Of course you want to throw it, you know, make it comfortable because it's easy for these, you know, actually, these wheels are pretty sturdy on here. So even if you threw it in a bag and it's kind of a lot of stuff in it, it's not going to break real quick. So that's a plus as well, because most of the, the older M audio boxes or even the, these boxes, they're easy to break. So um, I would definitely put it in a case, but even if you just threw it in the bag real quick to be mobile with it, I think it's uh, definitely suiting for that. And the sound quality on it is, is perfect. Again, I'm gonna I'm reference back to the latency. The latency definitely affects the, the audio aspect of it. And it, it it works good. It just works very, very, very well with my workflow. So I recommend it, so. But I recommend it. Let me know what y'all think. Please drop the comments below. We'll be replying to them when they come in. Yeah. Peoples, we have a blog. We have a more extensive breakdown of this product. So please go to the website, aprilvisuals.com to read on it. We'll be putting more reviews on here, but for this one uh, specifically, we'll definitely have like thorough, thorough breakdowns of everything. So please make sure you subscribe. Mr. Al People, the NPN Network to the top.